welcome delegates and welcome everybody uh, online streaming or uh, after, the, after the fact watching the video here. Really important day for Fluke Networks and for the wireless industry. This is my first chance to, uh, to be with delegates and it's really an honor and a pleasure to uh, host you here at the world headquarters of uh, wireless measurement at uh, Fluke Networks in Santa Clara. So it's, it's, it's great to be hosting this event. I'm the overhead uh, that we'll be presenting just before you know, the real show starts with, uh, with Dilip and John and the rest of the, the guys. I'm the CTO, David Coffin, of Fluke Networks, and I've been with uh, FNET now for uh, 10 years, 12 years uh, it, it is. And uh, we'll go through my relationship with uh, Air Magnet, uh, a great brand of wireless test and measurement products, along with AirCheck and Air Magnet Enterprise. And I'll uh, present some of those things. I want to provide a framework for what the guys are going to talk about later, but it's an important day for us because we're, we're actually launching some new products and showing some really cool stuff as we go throughout the, uh, the, out the day. Part of that context, Fluke Networks is an operating company of Danaher Corporation. Danaher is an $18 billion plus now uh, acquisitive multi-industrial or really a science and technology company. Hopefully some of these brands you recognize may be like a, hopefully in the networking world you recognize some of those brands in the test and measurement space. So Fluke Networks is a part of the test and measurement platform within Danaher and Air Magnets is a product line brand within Fluke Networks. But some of these other things, you, we like to say that, uh, you know, we make a lot of things you had no idea you needed, whether it's 50% uh, market share in gas pumps or the marking on every Coke bottle or Dasani uh, water bottle. All of those markings uh, are, are from, uh, from Danaher. Uh, perhaps some of the other uh, brands you recognize, but this is the context at a corporate level. At a Fluke Networks level, where does Fluke Networks itself sit? It sits within the test and measurement group, and those are brand names you've probably heard of. Tektronics, Tektronics Communications, Fluke, maybe even Keithley, especially if you're from, uh, from EMEA in Europe. Um, and in that test and measurement area, which um, a couple of years ago we actually ascended to number one in the world in test and measurement, exceeding Agilent from a total sales standpoint. So that was an important milestone for us. Within that group, we are the ComTest platform. That's where Fluke Network sits. Uh, among some great peers in that group, VSS in the Valley here, they make packet brokers. Um, Arbor Networks, the um, innovator of DDoS mitigate, uh, detection and mitigation. Um, and uh, Tektronix Communications, really at the core of uh, instrumenting the wireless carriers. And uh, so we know where all the car, uh, calls go and all your IMSIs and all of that uh, information. So that's a, a, at least a billion dollar group. Um, and within that, we are Fluke Networks, a $325 million or more organization with 700 uh, associates and growing, growing well. We are notable within the Danaher organization for a high vitality. So we create products. Uh, vitality is a measure of how often you create new products and, uh, and, and revise your revenue uh, basis. So within Danaher, the average is less than what uh, Fluke Networks gets. And we're, we're at about 60% right now above that. And what that is is products that you've made in the last three years as a composition of your total revenue stream. So we're a vital, uh, growing uh, organization. And obviously, Wi-Fi is part of that, uh, a key area which you're all here, uh, part of that industry. These are our customers. Um, we sell to three primary customer organizations, data communication installers. So we know more about in-building fiber and in-building copper than man was meant to know. And we also know more about in-building wireless, we'd like to think, except that maybe you all uh, need, need to know. Um, Datacom installers are people who pull wiring throughout the building and need to test the endpoints of that wiring in RJ45 jacks, print out a report, and prove that the network that they installed is doing it right and is capable of running uh, 10 gig or, or, or whatever. And uh, so we have a strong organization there. 
We also sell to the private network owner, and some people call this the enterprise or, or whatever, but we all work often for, uh, you know, Purina or UBS or whomever as an enterprise customer and help them install their networks and keep those networks running. And they obviously have wireless uh, technicians and engineers and network engineers and network architects. Some of you belong to those organizations. So we sell tools and systems to the private network owner. And we really began at the network engineer and technician level and have grown our organization into supplying systems for monitoring uh, networks on a much wider basis and a much larger uh, average selling price, if you will. And finally, we are a supplier to the communication service providers. Um, we sell a lot of uh, access copper test instruments, more, uh, more market share than anybody else with butt sets, um, which is a, a, a tool that bounces off the technician's button anytime he comes to your house to assure that your pots, or who has pots anymore, but, um, so that may be an issue, but, uh, and butt sets might not be the most vital uh, aspect of it, but we know a lot about the copper in the trenches in the last mile. A little bit about context around wireless. Um, you know, Wave Runner uh, back here in 2000 was from a predecessor organization of Fluke Networks and uh, Air Magnet, which was kind of the first compact based IPAC uh, handheld wireless test instrument, handheld test instrument in the field. What we're really looking at between that launch and now is 13 years of product development. It's specifically targeted at Wi-Fi test and measurement. Um, and we are in a couple of other wireless areas in cellular. We can talk about that, but what's most important to us is any LAN within a site, within a building, Fluke Networks wants to be the measurement uh, people that know more about that than anybody else. And so we go through a, 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 his, a whole history. Air Magnet was founded in 2001 uh, with Dino and Chachi, and maybe some of you have know those guys. They're, they're friends, and I had uh, courted them for a long time, or, uh, and, and, and we'd been participants in the Wi-Fi test and measurement industry. And they launched Wi-Fi Analyzer, first full network analyzer on a PC, uh, quickly following that, Air Magnet Enterprise. But in the common aspects of Air Magnet Enterprise and, uh, and Wi-Fi Analyzer is a, a, a core analytic engine we call AirWise. Here's a point I want to make in that we have now 13 years of developing alarms and understanding conditions in Wi-Fi networks, whether it's security threats, performance aberrations, or just data to get networks optimized. And it's basically all captured in, in AirWise. Um, we acquired, Fluke Networks acquired, FNet on its own has had wireless stuff for a while too. Not only Wave Runner, but Etherscope. And uh, right at the same time we were acquiring uh, Air Magnet, we launched AirCheck. And uh, to Dean and Chachi's surprise when I said I didn't uh, talk about this when we were uh, having the conversation, but here, here's AirCheck, and they go, oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, uh, but when we, we acquired and we continue to invest in, uh, in AirWise and continue to um, take Air Magnet's footprint uh, worldwide, um, we even, uh, from a WIP standpoint, wireless intrusion protection, uh, we're able to sell technology to Cisco, which is embedded in their uh, WIPs products uh, when, you, when you buy APs and systems uh, from, from Cisco. AirCheck, recently making investments in the spectrum space, really important uh, to use spectrum analyzers from an interferer detection standpoint. And, uh, and today we're coming to the .11 AC uh, launch stuff. So I want to emphasize 13 years of AirWise, and, uh, and that's, a, that, that's a great asset to have, and we're going to continue, obviously, to, to create more and more, and you'll hear what we're putting in that today from, uh, from Dilip and John. You know, and with that, I want to introduce, I do have one more? Oh, shoot, sorry. Yeah, well, I have one more. Uh, I wanted to give you also context about the vision that we have at, uh, at Air Magnet, at the WLAN business unit within Fluke Networks. Um, 
keep indispensable Wi-Fi networks alive. Boy, is it no more in, they're more and more indispensable, right? That 11AC, we each have three wireless uh, IDs on us at all times. Density's gone up considerably. Um, speed's gone up considerably. Really, Gartner's now recommending to use uh, wired as a secondary uh, install, as a secondary access jumping on point. And really, you have to optimize for wireless. So you guys know some of this, uh, these factoids from uh, Cisco VNI as, as well as Gartner organization. But all indications for all of us in this room and for Fluke Networks, these are, these are good times. These are great times for changes in the industry, higher speed, needing our expertise to uh, optimize, optimize networks. And we, hopefully we all need Fluke Networks tools in order to do that. And we're going to talk about how we're improving them in order to do that. So if I'm not anticipating, my mission is to anticipate network professionals, that's all of us in the room, toughest questions about Wi-Fi networking and, uh, and incorporate those into our products. So if I'm not doing that, please tell me what you think are some of your toughest questions and, uh, and I'll try to get to the root cause and get to, get to the answers.